Before church, it's it's okay. But but Dad, you're the pastor of the church. We we have to we have to start. Can pastors not take a nap? I mean, I'm really tired here. Not when church is about to start. All right. Well, you know, sometimes you're just not feeling it. You're not feeling it. I'm but not feeling it either. I'm tired. It doesn't matter if you're not feeling it. We give our best to the Lord. We we do our best to worship Him. Yeah. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Hey guys, we're so glad to have you at church today. It was a lot of work trying to get everybody here and watch church together, but we're glad that we're all here together. That's right, moms and dads. I know you may not be feeling it today. You know what? Sometimes I'm just not feeling it, and that's okay because we don't worship God when we feel like it. We worship God because He's God and He deserves our praise. So, kids, Moms and dads, everybody join in together and let's learn more about how we can worship God. Hey kids, it is so great to be with you guys today and we want to start off the day by a game. So maybe you haven't been motivated to get together and sit down and have some church time. So we want to play a game with you guys. We love playing games. So this is a game that you guys can play in your own house. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to either pause the video now or maybe you can do it fast enough, but I want you to run it all over your house and I want you to collect all the clean socks in your house. No dirty socks allowed, please, no dirty socks. But grab all the clean socks from mom and dad, from your sisters and your brothers and make a great big pile in the middle of your living room and then grab two laundry baskets and then I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do as soon as you get your socks together. So go grab the socks, see you in a minute. 
All right, now that you guys have the socks, this is what you guys are gonna do. I want you to undo the socks. Maybe they're already paired in a pair. I want you to undo them and I want you to mix them all up. So Abigail, mix all those socks up together and I want you to make one great big pile, okay? We kinda have a small pile, but I want you guys to make the bigger the pile, the better. We're gonna put a timer on the TV for one minute and you're gonna divide up into teams. Maybe it's just two people playing the game like Abigail and I. And in one minute, you're going to see how many pairs you can get, and then you're gonna throw your matched pair in your laundry basket. And at the end of one minute, we'll see if Abigail wins or if I win. Okay, so here we go. One minute, go. We're just teaching Jaden the official worship signals. Well, what's that? I'm, I'm not following. You know, the things people do when they're singing worship music in church. For example, this, the hold my TV. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I do that <laughs> one. Yeah. Uh, I, I did this on Sunday. This is the touchdown. I. <laughs> oh, uh, what about this one? Oh, I know this one. It's uh, the hold my burrito. Oh, I've only ever heard it called the hold my baby. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's a rather large burrito. <laughs> Our Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name's Jaden. And this is the time we learned why and how we worship. Oh, hi. Welcome to Connect HQ. I'm Mike. Hi, Mike. My name is Bree. I heard this was the place to come if I have questions about God. You heard right. My name's Jaden. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> so, how can we help you? Well, I'm interested in learning more about worship, why we worship God, and different ways we can worship God. Oh, well, I'm going to worship night at my church tonight. You're welcome to come with me. Actually, I was hoping I could study worshipers in their natural habitat, if that's possible. Oh, uh, what? I'm a researcher. I like to learn from people by watching what they do naturally. Do you think you could help me do that? Well, um, Mike, if you want to show Bree around HQ, I can start working on tracking down some links. Sure thing. Bree, I will be your tour guide. Wonderful. I have an outfit brought up for you. Do what now? Hey, uh, Brie, khaki's not really my color, by the way. Nobody wears khaki because they like the color, Mike. Now, who's that? It's Rodney. He looks like a good first subject. Okay, so what do we do now? We wait for the worshiping to start. <sighs> oh my goodness, I didn't realize how late it was. Only a couple hours until I have to leave for church. 
God, please help me find the right links for Brie. I don't want to miss out on worshiping you tonight. Thanks. Amen. Okay. Reverse. Let's see what I can find. Brie! How long are we gonna sit here? How long does it take a person to start worshiping? It's not something you can plan on. <sighs> hey, I have an idea. Here, you stay here. I'm gonna go talk to him like I normally would. I promise, it will not interfere with your study. Thinking on your feet. I like it. Do it. Mm. Ah! Ah! Where did you come from, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> and what are you wearing? Uh, I am trying out a new uniform. Okay. I don't think khaki's your color. I know, right? Oh, so what are you doing? I'm just looking over footage from the outside that I took earlier this week. Oh, look at that mountain, it's beautiful. Good job, Rodney. <laughs> well, it's not me. It's God. God made that mountain. And God made every tree. And every bird, God made everything that we see and everything that we don't see, no matter how big or small. That's, that's amazing. For sure, God is awesome. God is awesome. And I need to do something to show him how awesome I think he is. God deserves my worship. God deserves my worship. That's a great point, Rodney. I know what I have to do. Hmm? Impromptu worship dance party time! Impromptu worship dance party time! Hey kids, so today we're talking about worship. And so I have a box of yummy dog treats. Well, they're not gonna be yummy for me. Are they yummy for you, Abigail? Do you like to eat dog treats? No, I don't like to eat dog treats, but these two dogs like to eat dog treats. This is Chip, our littlest dog, and this is Maggie, our big dog. And so we wanna show you guys that they love dog treats, and let's show them, let's show you guys what they can do for the dog treats. So Abigail's gonna show, demonstrate. Okay, Abigail, show us. Sit. Good boy. Good boy, yeah. that didn't take much, and Abigail, She's yeah. already laying down. This is Maggie. Oh, almost, Aww. almost. Let's not throw it for her because it's hard for her to see. She's an old girl. But anyway, maybe Abby can show us one more trick in just one second. But the reason why I wanted to talk to you guys today about these dog treats and what that has to do with worship is dogs are conditioned to do special things for a treat because they know if they listen and they do what we say, they're going to get something that they really love. Well, we are not like dogs, okay? We should not worship God when he gives us good things or treats. We have to worship God all the time because he deserves our praise. Not just when he can give us good things, but even when we're having hard times or we're going through some struggles, God still deserves our worship. So let's remember that, guys. The animals will do tricks for treats. But make sure that we remember that our worship is not a trick. It's the real thing. And we do it because God deserves worship, not because he gives us good things. So when Rodney was talking about how amazing it was that God created the mountains and the trees and the birds. That's one reason why we worship God, because he created everything in the universe. He created you, he created me, he created our friends and family. And because of that, he is worthy of our worship. Which, which ties in perfectly with the verse link I just found. Do you want me to teach it to you? Of course. Okay, so it's from the book of Revelation, chapter four, verse 11. Revelation 4, 11. Revelation 4, 11. You are worthy, our Lord and God. You are worthy, our Lord and God. To receive glory and honor and power. To receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things. For you created all things. When we realize how much God deserves our worship, we can't help but worship him. That's why Rodney started playing worship music and dancing. Those are two ways to worship God. And that's why I'm so excited to go to worship night at my church. Fascinating. This is fascinating. Thank you both for your help.
Oh, um, I'm gonna go get started on those Bible links. I don't wanna miss out on worshiping tonight. Great. So, you ready to get back out there, Bree? Let's see what new subjects we can find. Hey, Bree. Do you wanna, I don't know, go to a different room? I was thinking we could like climb into the vents and watch the quiet time group pray. I don't mind staying here. I once hid in the tree in the African savanna for three days trying to catch a glimpse of a wild king cheetah. You and I have lived very different lives. I think somebody's coming. I am checking the squeakiness of chairs. <laughs> yep, still squeaky. So, what are you working on? Well, I'm working on some new ideas for a skit vision video. Ooh, what about? Rodney suggested that we make a video about worshiping God and all the different ways that you can do that. I just love it. So I volunteered to make a list of all the different ways. Ooh, so what do you have on the list so far? A lot of things. Singing and dancing, of course, but also things like raising your hands up to God while you worship, listening to him quietly, serving others, giving to those in need, and writing about him like I am right now. It is so awesome that God gave us so many ways to worship him. I know, and I love that I can help other people figure out ways to worship God too. Wow, well, good luck on that video. I've got more chairs to test for squeakiness. Ooh, bye. No idea there were so many different ways to worship God. It's amazing. I know, it's not just music and dancing, it's so much more than that. Well, that leads me to another question. Out of all the ways to worship God that your friend listed, does everyone worship in all of those ways? Definitely not. God made each of us, and that includes making each of us to worship Him in a different way. So, how do I figure out how I'm supposed to worship God? Well, ask God. If you ask him for help, he'll show you the right ways to live your whole life in worship to him. I wonder what way God made me to worship him. I can't wait to find out. <sighs> Looks like Jaden found a Bible link. <gasps> Onward! Oh. I was having the hardest time finding a Bible link for you, Bree, but I took a moment and I asked God to help me and he guided me to the perfect video. I can't wait to see it. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive for the answers and It's a lie. See the wonderful stories inside. Every day I'm searching, read through history and poetry. How much Jesus loves me. God's great story lives. There's no other book like this. This book is alive. It was Passover time. Jerusalem was filled with people. When Jesus reached the Mount of Olives, a hill overlooking Jerusalem, he told two of his disciples to find a donkey. They found the donkey and put their cloaks on it. Jesus rode on the donkey, fulfilling the Bible verse that says, Here comes your king, Jerusalem, riding on a donkey. Jesus rode the donkey down to Jerusalem. Many people remembered his miracles and joined him. They put cloaks and palm branches on the road before him to honor him. They hoped that Jesus was God's promised Savior. So they shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Blessed is the King of Israel! The whole world is following him, the Pharisees grumbled. Tell them to be quiet, Jesus. Even if everyone stopped shouting, Jesus replied, the stones would still praise me. 
Jesus is our God and King. The people of Jerusalem worshiped him because they knew he deserved all the glory and honor they could give him. And if the people didn't worship Jesus, the rocks would, because everything God's created knows how awesome and worthy he is, rocks included. How would a rock worship? You know, I don't know. I always assumed it was something like, <gasps> Like that. Interesting. Interesting. I can't thank you both enough for helping me answer my question. I feel like now I have a better understanding of why and how we worship God. I'm not going to forget that God deserves my worship. You know, it was awesome watching other people worship in their natural habitat. And I'll admit, the clothes kind of grow on me after a while. Oh my goodness, I need to go. I don't want to be late for worship night. Oh, have a good time, Jaden. I learned a lot from watching you worship too. Me? Well, just a few minutes ago when you said you were having a hard time finding the right Bible link, but then you took a moment and asked God for help and he led you to the perfect video. You both served me and brought glory to him. And according to my notes, those are both two great ways to worship God. Huh, I guess I was worshiping God without even realizing it. You know what, that is so awesome that we can worship God anywhere, not just in a church. Thanks for pointing that out, Bree. Happy to be of service. Hi, I'm Mike and I'm a part of Connect HQ. I have this great verse I wanna share with you. Say it with me like this. Revelation 4:11. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things. God created everything that is good in this world, and that is amazing. And because of that, He is worthy. He deserves all the glory and honor that we can give Him with our whole lives. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the people there couldn't help but worship Him. They understood the truth that Jesus is our God and King. And it's not just people. All of creation knows how worthy Jesus is, even the rocks. It's easy sometimes to think that worship is only about singing worship songs and dancing, but there's so much more to it than that. We can worship God by serving others, writing about God, giving to those in need, and in so many other ways. And if you're not sure what the right way to worship God is for you, just ask Him. God made us all to worship in different ways, and He will lead you to the right answer. Don't forget, God deserves my worship. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Bree, are you taking notes on me? I couldn't pass up the chance to witness the making of a real Connect transmission. You don't mind, do you? Nah, it's not the first time I was studied by the scientific community. Hmm, does anybody know an awesome way to connect to God? Shout it out, let me hear it. Ooh, those are some good guesses. I like that one. But let me tell you about the one I was thinking of. How about we sing a song to God? Like when we give him our full attention and tell him how great he is. When we worship, it connects us with God because we thank him for everything he's done for us. So let's get on our feet and connect to God together.
Worship night was amazing. Although there was a really tall person standing in front of me the whole time, I could only see the left half or the right half of the stage at one time. But it was all right. I can worship God with my eyes closed. 
Do you want to be friends with the good and perfect God who created everything and deserves all of our worship? If so, you can make that choice today by following Jesus. All you have to remember are the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice today? If so, be sure to talk about it with the parent or leader you trust.